Hi everyone, it's Louise here from Game Room 1. In today's episode, I'm going to be taking you through my top 10 couch co-op games. Now before I start, I'd just like to say this is the first video I've ever posted on YouTube, so I'd really appreciate a thumbs up as it would encourage me to make more videos like this. So without further ado, here's my top 10 couch co-op games. <laughs> If you're looking for a challenging couch co-op game, look no further than Cuphead. After sneaking into a casino owned by the devil himself, Cuphead and his brother Mugman find themselves getting into some gambling trouble, and the only way they can repay the devil is by collecting souls from a bunch of other debtors. The game boasts amazing 1930s Betty Boo style graphics, and is paired with high tempo jazz and swing band music, which match the gameplay perfectly. Most of the gameplay is based around hectic boss battles. You might be battling a giant carrot, the queen of Candyland, or a bird that resembles a cuckoo clock. But there's also platform levels mixed in to break up the gameplay. This game is not for the faint-hearted. It's challenging and difficult, but that's what makes it so much fun. The first time you try battling a boss, it seems impossible, but each time you try, you discover new tactics and gradually learn the enemy's weaknesses and tells. When you die, you're given a progress bar, which only makes you want to try again. When you do manage to beat some of the harder levels, there's a real sense of accomplishment. Overall, Cuphead is a one-of-a-kind game that will not only test your patience, but will wow you with its imaginative art style and 1930s music influences. Victory! Welcome back to New York, gentlemen. If you've played LEGO games before, you pretty much know what to expect from Marvel LEGO superheroes. It's a fun-packed, light-hearted game full of side missions, collectibles and hidden challenges. Alongside the shiny brick graphics, visual jokes and quirky humour, there's a giant cast of Marvel characters to choose from, each with their own set of super cool strengths and abilities. You can play as Hulk, Wolverine, Spider-Man and so many more comic book favourites. Whether you're smashing up bricks or solving puzzles, it's so much fun playing this game in cult mode. For the most part, it's a single screen game, but the split screen kicks in if there's more distance between you. Whilst there are lots of LEGO games to choose from, LEGO Marvel Super Heroes is one of my favourites. I'd love to hear what your favourite LEGO game is, and if you enjoyed playing this one, let me know in the comments below. Remember, you can transform back to normal if you calm down. Unravel 2 is a family-friendly puzzle platformer game, and unlike its predecessor, Unravel 2 can be played locally with two players. Throughout the game, you play as two incredibly cute creatures who are made entirely of yarn and are known as Yarnies. At the start of the game, your Yarnies are stranded near a lighthouse and form a connection which causes them to be entwined together by a limited amount of thread. You are then taken on an incredibly beautiful journey through photorealistic environments. Since the game has been specifically designed with co-op in mind, you'll need to find ways to help each other progress through the levels. This in itself encourages you to communicate and bounce ideas off one another. I could try swinging you across that gap, or what happens if you tether to that object and I go the other way? It's very rewarding when you figure the puzzle out. There also might be sections that one player feels more confident about, and as such the two Yarnies can merge together and be controlled by that one player. Once you're through the section, you can separate and continue at your own pace. In conclusion, Unravel 2 is a game that focuses on the themes of friendship and connections. It offers a good balance between action and puzzle solving. I found it to be quite a relaxing and therapeutic game, and would recommend it for its beautiful visuals and sense of adventure. Dream 2 is a fantasy themed puzzle platformer game with gorgeous graphics and varied environments. You can play as Amadeus the Wizard, Pontius the Knight, or Zoya the Thief. Each character has their own set of unique abilities, which makes puzzle solving fun and varied. Amadeus can conjure certain magical items and levitate objects. Pontius can fight with his sword and break almost anything with his storm hammer. He also has a protective shield. Zoya has a grapple hook rope that she can use in many ingenious ways, and she can also fire arrows. Playing in co-op means there's several ways to make your way across the levels and achieve your objectives. Whether you're fighting your way through a dungeon, floating on bubbles, rearranging pipes or jumping across traps, Treen 2 will definitely dazzle you with its graphics and is best enjoyed locally with two players. This water is really powerful.
Lara Croft and the Guardian of Light is a superb twin stick shooter played from the top down perspective. You can play as the leading lady herself, Lara Croft, or as a 2000 year old Mayan warrior named Totec. The aim of the game is to work together to stop an evil spirit and to retrieve the Mirror of Smoke. In Lara Croft and the Guardian of Light, the levels are cleverly designed in a way that encourages you to work together and harness each character's unique abilities. For example, Totec has a shield which helps Lara reach higher levels, and Lara has a grapple which means she can make a tightrope for Totec to walk across. There's also replayability in this game because of this, so you can switch to the other character the next time around. The game boasts an engaging mix of combat and is punctuated by various intricate puzzles. As with any Tomb Raider, game, there's a variety of tombs to explore and various artefacts and rewards to collect. This is a truly enjoyable co-op experience. Moving Out, like the name implies, is a genuinely funny game all about moving. As a certified fart, yes, I did just say fart, a furniture arrangement and relocation technician, you must move certain boxes, items of furniture and sometimes animals out of buildings onto your removal truck in the fastest time possible. As you race against the clock, it's apparent that you're not going to be offering an undamaged and neat removal service. It's going to be a frantic, chaotic process. If it's quicker to throw a box out of the window, it's going to go that way. Each level offers varied and engaging environments. You might be carrying chemicals across a lab, herding sheep into the truck or fumbling across crocodiles in frogger style levels. The levels also offer a variety of items to move. Some are fragile, whilst others are awkward and require two people to move them. You can try moving a corner sofa on your own, but trust me, it just won't budge and often results in some gassy sound effects. Overall, Moving Out is a hilarious game to play with friends. Who thought moving furniture could be so much fun? Rayman Origins is a superb side-scroller that delivers hours of pure fun combined with a good variety of gameplay. You can play as Rayman himself, his best friend Glowbox or two teensies. It's got amazing graphics and catchy music and the level designs really come into its own when you play it cooperatively. Throughout the levels there are plenty of easter eggs. Together you can find secret areas and free electoons. You can collect lums and also skull coins. These all contribute towards earning medals and trophies at the end of the level. Some of our favourite moments include chasing a treasure chest across the screen. One wrong move and you're dead. These challenges are so addictive and you find yourself hitting that restart button again and again and again. Other memorable moments include riding on the back of giant mosquitoes while shooting and scrambling around trying to collect more lums than my other half. Now I haven't included the sequel to this game in my list of favourites as they're quite similar but I would also really recommend playing Rayman Legends with a friend, especially the music levels. Everyone's favourite Italian plumber is back in Super Mario 3D Worlds and this time round you can play as the little fella himself or you can choose to play as Luigi Toad or Princess Peach. Super Mario 3D Worlds is an incredibly colourful and enjoyable game that you simply can't help smiling at whilst you're playing. Notably, you can now be Cat Mario with a Cat Bell power-up that lets you lunge and claw away at enemies. The suit also lets you explore otherwise unreachable heights because you can climb up walls. There are so many creative and magnificent levels in this game. One minute you could be skating on snowy playgrounds, clowning around at the circus or hurtling down a waterfall on the back of Plessy the dinosaur. Collecting hidden green stars also unlocks even more new and amazing levels. Not only is it so much fun playing this game with friends, it's also easier to find these collectibles when there's more than one of you running around on the screen. Each level is usually punctuated by a mini game or two which are brilliant fun in co-op. The amount of enjoyment you get from playing this game is vast. It's actually quite difficult to narrow down the best bits because there are so many of them. But one thing's for sure, it's definitely a game that you should sit down and play with your friends, family or other half. The fun is endless. And importantly, this one's now making its way onto the Nintendo Switch. Force is one of my favourite couch co-op games. It's an extremely fun run-and-gun platformer. It's got really cool 16-bit style retro artwork 
And then there's the characters you can play as. Each one is based on an 80s or 90s action hero and has a bro-based name. For example, you've got Rambro, Robocop, and B8 Brorakus. I won't give too many of these names away, as we were all in stitches when they were introduced for the first time. Mr. In Broforce, the aim of the game is to defeat the terrorists on each level. You can do this by climbing, grabbing walls and jumping across ledges whilst firing an array of weapons which include bazookas, flamethrowers and rocket launchers. One of the things I love about Broforce is the truly chaotic experience it provides, especially when playing in co-op. Explosive chain reactions are commonplace. One deliberate shot at a gas canister, or in some cases accidental, can cause a massive amount of carnage. And because each pro has a different set of weapons, it's always funny finding out what they're capable of. My personal favourite character is McGrover. Now this is no ordinary bro. He's a bro armed with a special weapon, an exploding chicken. And for this reason, I always refer to him as Chicken Man. And the noises the enemy makes when you use this weapon are always worthy of a chuckle. I'd love to find out who your favourite bro is, so don't forget to leave a comment below. Overcooked is a hectic, chaotic, action-packed cooking game that can be played with one to four players, but I would really recommend playing this locally with two players upwards. The aim of the game is to prepare, cook and serve up a variety of tasty food orders before the customer gets angry about the service being too slow or their order just being completely wrong. Now this might sound like a simple task, but as soon as the timer starts, the pressure is on and you have to figure out what to do. It's a game that definitely encourages you to communicate with one another. And by communicate, I mean panic with raised voices. Ah, where's the clean dishes? No, I've run out of chopped potatoes and ah, ah, where's the fire extinguisher? It's also worth noting that the levels are not set in bog standard kitchens either. They're beautiful, creative and often unexpected. You might be cooking on a pirate ship with counters that sway from side to side, or cooking on two separate food trucks as they're driving down the road, or darting to and from kitchens that are separated by moving icebergs. Whatever the level, fun is guaranteed. It's also worth noting there's a second Overcooked game called Overcooked 2, where a throwing gameplay mechanic is introduced. But personally, I prefer the level designs of the first game. The dishes are also easier to assemble when you understand what the final outcome is supposed to be. Our group particularly enjoyed making burgers. Yum. I would highly recommend Overcooked. It's a game that keeps you coming back for more. The levels are so much fun and last Christmas I played this with family members who have no gaming experience whatsoever and they absolutely loved it. <laughs>